welcome back to Heavy Metal Models. You know, sometimes the marriage of a car maker and a scale model maker gets so good that the replicas just keep getting better and better and better. That's certainly been the case with Auto Art and Lamborghini. Now, over the past few years, what started out as a great series of model cars has become a mind-blowing series of replicas that pull you in and keep you there. And I can't think of a model that grabbed me more than this particular one that we're about to show you today. It's the Lamborghini Aventador LP700. It's a 700 horsepower all-wheel drive supercar in the truest sense. And this model takes the ability of Auto Art to lock in some of those features and details we all love and bring them to a level that is just absolutely amazing. Check this out. Supercars deserve supermodels, and Auto Art and the Aventador make a perfect couple. Though I've seen this car in a couple of different colors, this red really sings out on display. Thanks to its dead even finish and the perfect fit of all the opening panels and detail parts. All of which are installed to tolerances usually seen on models with sealed resin bodies. There's quite a lot going on on this one, so you'll want to take a minute and read the included cheat sheet in the owner's pamphlet before you go and try to work anything. The spring-loaded swing-up door is open only after you've pressed the latch to release them. And the rear hatch over the engine is pretty delicate, so Auto Art recommends some caution here too. There's also a flip-up rear spoiler and a boot lid that cantilevers up, as well as steerable wheels and a working suspension. But the most subtle trick, and one that might have been overlooked on a lesser effort, is the tiny hinged aero wings on either side of the engine. Out front, the car's multi-piece headlights feature a reflector lens and a row of LEDs under a clear cover. And the tiny Lambo bull is done in a sweet little recessed cloisonne set into the nose. On either side of that, beautiful photo etched screening is set into the air intakes. More screening lives in the side scoops for the radiators, and even more meshes in the house at the rear, set just below the impeccably done taillights. More metal makes up the badging on the car's tail and the LP700-4 signage on its rockers. Pick the car up and spin the hatchet spoked wheels and a set of carbon fiber brake discs pass through red painted Lamborghini calipers. When you're done giggling, check out the tiny gold foil emblem at the wheel centers. If they've missed a trick anywhere on this car's body and trim, I haven't seen it. Behind those swinging doors is a well-done cockpit with low-slung seats and metalized trim. The center stack is booming with detail and switch gear, and the gauge cluster in the simulated leather dash, replete with red piping, is set into a full-on recreation boasting fabric seat belts, photo wedged paddle shifters, and even a set of reflectors set into the door bottoms. Hey, you can never be too safe. If you're auto art, you can never be too detailed either. The 700 horse 6.5 liter V12 under that stealth profile glass hatch is crawling with things to see, starting with the carbon fiber valley cover between the air intakes, complete to its tamped on firing order label, and going deeper with lots of plastic and vinyl hoses and cable. And the screening at the rear and sweet, smooth hinge assemblies up top are as complex and authentic as the rest of the area. The same goes for the boot. The trick hinges haul the lid up and forward, and two friction struts kept it there while I checked out the carpeted well, the full weather seal gasketing, and the neatly molded and painted area surrounding the trunk. Under the car, the deceptively smooth belly pan is actually well detailed with fasteners, ducts, and a carbon fiber pattern that ends in the Aventador's distinctive and well done here exhaust port. In a word, wow. I was thinking about what my favorite detail is on that car, and for all the crazy things that that model does, for all the really cool features, it's those little wings that move like a sixteenth of an inch on either side that just blew my mind. They could have just sailed right past that and left that be, but they didn't. They put it into the model, and it just makes it all the more fun. They keep getting better and better, and in an era when a lot of manufacturers are going toward resin body cars to bring out images, Auto Ward has steadfastly stayed the course, and they keep making die 
last models better. In fact, they've even carried that into their 140 third, and we will be showing you some of those over the next several months. I give this car a full five Henrys. It's an amazing model car. It's not inexpensive, but man, there isn't a part of this model that you look at and you go, wow, they went cheap. Not here, not ever. <laughs> Hey, look, if there's something you want to see on heavy metal models, you know where to get me, right there on the Facebook page. Drop me a line. Let me know what you think. You can instant message me or private message me. Let's talk. I want to keep you guys happy. I want to keep you guys coming back. Thanks for being here. We'll see you next time.